story from Chictawaga High School that we've been following for you for months. News 4 has been asking questions about several teachers who were off the job for talking to a murder suspect. News 4's Lou Raguse has found out that two of the three teachers are now back at school, while the district is still working on how to handle the third. I snitched on you. Where? That's what the kid said here. While releasing the recordings of Chictawaga teachers talking over the phone to jailed murder suspect Dontre Jones, Police Chief Dave Zack admitted he found one of the teacher's offenses to be worse than the other two. And Chictawaga Central School Superintendent Dennis Kane apparently agreed because while she remains on leave, the other two teachers are now back at school. And the lawyer for one of them confirms to me he wasn't even punished. That is the male teacher whose voice was not captured on the recordings. He was a part-time jail guard who Chief Zach says relayed jail information back to Jones's friends at school. He was fired from his job at the holding center, but his lawyer says he's eager to clear his name. According to my sources, the other teacher returning to work is the woman who allowed students to put Jones on speakerphone from the jail during her class. Hi, what's good, everybody? How everybody doing? Hide. Superintendent Kane sent me a statement that read in part, the Board of Education and the administration believe that each resolution is appropriate and in the best interests of the district, and that the district has effectively reinforced its expectations regarding standards of conduct. They're dealing with the employees that they have in a manner that they see that's appropriate, and uh, myself and the Chictawonga Police Department are 100% okay with that. And Chief Zach says he regrets initially saying the teachers should be fired. They've been on leave since August. And again, my sources say the teacher who remains on leave is the one who identified another student to Jones as a snitch. Reporting live, Lou Raguse, News 4 at 5.